Uh, you should be familiar with 50% rule. It's governed by FEMA. Any that's in a flood zone, say you sell a house in Ventnor, client says, well, I'm going to rip off the second floor and expand it. I'm going to spend $500,000. You have to prove that that property is worth a million dollars just for the improvement, just for the house, not the land. In order for them to approve it, it goes through the local authorities and it goes through FEMA. When I'm called in to do an appraisal, it's not a normal appraisal, of course, for doing the improvement. Uh, it cannot include site improvements, you know, all the pretty stuff in the yard and all that. And it, it does include the porches and things attached to the house, the garage. Uh, it's not done like a normal appraisal. It's done for reproduction cost, which is your advantage. And placement cost is different. Doing the report, I do have to do the full regular Danny May. I do a cost approach, which leaves out the land. So between the two approaches, that's where you come up with your market value of the improvement. It's submitted to the local authority and then to FEMA. Normally the number can come out because the market will support the higher reproduction costs. It affects in the flood zones. Actually the first question, is this going to affect my taxes? Yes it is. To finish that improvement, the assessor is going to come out like it was new construction and put a market value on it as of the date he's giving the CEO we're going to talk about. If you're just redoing a kitchen, that doesn't mean anything. This is when you're putting on square footage. And a lot of people think it's the city. It's not the city that's doing it. It's FEMA. The city is only the, the intermediate official.